It was during the year 917 that a powerful army of Mercians sallied forth from their fortified burrs in the centre of England and headed towards the five boroughs of the Danelaw, the towns of Derby, Nottingham, Lincoln, Leicester and Stamford, which until the cataclysmic invasion of the great heathen army in the 860s had been a part of Mercia. But now, just a few decades later, they were ruled by pagan Viking warlords, the descendants of those initial invaders now bolstered by a whole host of other raiders who had arrived later, attracted by the allure of conquest and glory. The Mercians had not sat idly by over the years, and had allied themselves with the last Saxon kingdom not to fall, Wessex, and its warrior king, Alfred, and subsequently his son, Edward. Together, they fought off invasion after invasion from the Viking lands of the Danelaw, and also from across the sea from Denmark, Norway, and increasingly of late, Ireland. Possibly most fascinating of all, however, is the fact that the Mercian force which marched towards Derby in 917 was not led by a man at all, but a woman, Ethelfled, the daughter of Alfred, and now ruling Mercia solely under the title Lady of the Mercians, after the death of her late husband, Ethelred. Ethelfled ruled not in name only, but headed all political, religious, and even military affairs in her country, which at the time was still largely independent from Wessex. After decades of humiliating defeat and ignominious retreat from the invading Vikings, the fight back to reclaim England had finally begun. Ethelfled was born in around 870, at the height of the Viking incursions into the British Isles. By all accounts, it was a grim period as the formerly powerful heptarchy of Anglo-Saxon kingdoms began to fall one by one during her childhood, subjugated by brutal invaders from beyond the borders of Christendom. The fate of those defeated rulers and nobles was brutal and violent, and the subjects often sold into slavery or killed outright. By the time of her eighth birthday, Ethelfred's father, Alfred, was King of Wessex. Although, at the time, he ruled over little more than the marshy bogs of Somerset, at the far westerly point of his realm, a location he had been forced to retreat to after a surprise attack on his capital the year before. He didn't give up the fight, however, and against all the odds, he rallied the fjords together from the last remaining counties for one final battle against the invaders. The battle came at Eddington in 878, and the subsequent Treaty of Wedmore that followed agreed upon a border between the Viking lands of the east and the independent nation of Wessex in the west. The idea of England had been saved for now. Wessex was still an incredibly appealing prospect to raiders from across the sea at this point, and more and more Viking raids came and went over the years, as Alfred gradually fortified more and more towns against the invaders, turning many of the settlements under his rule into defensive powerhouses against opportunistic raiders. This was known as the system of Burrs, a system that his daughter would eventually put in place over the border in Mercia. At this time, the northeastern part of Mercia had been fully conquered by the Vikings along with nearly every other place where English was spoken. The southwestern portion of Mercia was still free from foreign rule, however. Alfred had agreed a deal with its ageing ruler, Keelwulf, possibly previously thought of as a puppet ruler to the Vikings, and formed an alliance with Alfred against their common foe. His successor, Ethelred, would be known as Lord of the Mercians. To seal the deal, Ethelfled, Alfred's eldest child, was married to Ethelred, and upon conquering the old Roman city of London back from the Danes, it was given to Mercia. Ethelfled and her husband oversaw a revival of Mercian power and culture during this time, although in a reduced territorial area. Together, the two rulers oversaw the construction of a series of fortified burrs throughout Mercian territory, just like Alfred had done in Wessex. Ethelfled became very popular amongst her new people, so much so that when her husband died, she was allowed to continue to rule solely from 911. The fall of Derby in 917 began a period of reconquest for Mercia against the Danes, culminating in the eventual overthrow of the five boroughs by the time of the next king of Wessex, Athelstan. By the time of Ethelfled's death in 918, she had succeeded so much in her campaigns against the Danelaw that her influence had reached all the way to York preparations were allegedly being made for the city's submission to her rule, although this soon fell apart upon her death. Though she had prepared her daughter Elfwyn to succeed her, the new ruler was carried off to Wessex shortly after by King Edward, and Mercia's independence was finally stamped out entirely. Although Mercia, as an independent entity, died with Ethelfled, 
her influence did not. The new king after Edward, his son Athelstan, and the first king to be named King of the English, had been raised at his aunt Ethelfled's court in Mercia and had learned much from her. He would go on to become arguably the greatest English king yet, and the first to rule over almost the entirety of the modern day nation, even going so far as to exert his influence over Wales and Scotland. Not until the 16th century, under Elizabeth, would England again have a sole female ruler and warrior queen such as Ethelfled, Lady of the Mercians. Thank you.